We're Niles and Riza. We've been traveling full time for the past two years while living in our tiny camper. Along the way, we are exploring ways to help the world become a better place. We are passionate about sustainability, community, unity, and well-being for everyone. Check us out at theconsciouscontinuum.com, linked below, and subscribe to our channel for more. Join us now as we design and create our first composting toilet and install it in our casita. Today is our last time ever doing this for the rest of our lives. gonna glue this right down there so that the stick goes straight into there and then it keeps it in a line and doesn't go all over the place. Uh, we put this piece of wood here so that this spindle has like a, I don't know, like a strong, almost like a bearing. It's not really a bearing, but it has something to keep it in place while it's spinning so it doesn't just go all over the place in the bucket. So our current dilemma is that this is the only space we would have to go poop. So we're going to carve this out a little bit more because it's getting in the way. It's a very small amount of space. Okay, so for this, we just took a door window crank and epoxied in a little like three eighths drill socket that attaches into a wrench socket, which directly fits right on top of our little swirly thing. We did make sure to flush the tank with a water hose. So I came here to the bathroom with a water hose and I flushed it out for about 10 minutes to try to get all of the smell and disgusting poop out. <laughs> all right, I am starting the toilet removal by taking off this water connection. So we just removed the water hose. We don't have a cap for it, so for now we're just going to tape it. Tape is just a temporary fix, um, but it needs to be plugged up because it is hooked up to the water tank. and It is a water line, so anytime you would put on the water pump, um, it would send pressure over here. So it needs to be plugged up. It's a big hug you're giving the toilet there. <laughs> I just love it so much. Okay, I uh, just loosened these four holding bolts here. Uh, all the nuts came off. One of the bolts just broke. Um, nonetheless, it's off and we're about to see what's underneath. Oh boy. It's probably gonna be gross. Ew, dude! Oh, 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 oh. Gasco! <laughs> oh. So it's not It's 
it's uh, it might have looked like <laughs> but it's actually just like a wax gasket that was on there that's just obviously bad. Yeah, sure. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. You're gonna need a bigger rag. Trust your rag. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, that's the gasket. Good. Straight in the trash. Alright, we're now figuring out a way to get these bolts out of here so we can put our box flush on top of this thing. We need to put a piece of wood here to make sure that the bottom of the compost toilet fits flush and doesn't rock back and forth. And to avoid drilling into the fiberglass, we're just going to use this uh, 3M VHB tape from Scotch. It's super, super strong. And instead of drilling holes, we're just going to use tape. It's going to work great. One of our goals is to become self-sustainable. However, the motivating factor for making this conversion from a toilet to a composting toilet is the fact that dumping your black and gray water is absolutely disgusting. We did it one time and we were absolutely over it, decided right then and there that we're going to do a compost toilet. Not only does it smell bad, but it comes out gushing like a geyser and it just... Bleh. Also, it wasn't realistic for us to continue to hitch our car up to Casita and drive it to an RV dump. Not very convenient or self-sustainable. <laughs> Finally, the final product. Before starting this project, we considered buying an expensive composting toilet like a nature's head, but then realized that we could probably do it ourselves for a fraction of the price and learn something in the process. Our total investment to build this one was about 150 bucks. We reclaimed the bucket and plastic jug we used and got the rest of the parts at Home Depot. The medium that we chose to put in our bucket is gerbil bedding. We're unsure of how sustainable the pine shaving production is. But it comes from the United States, unlike coconut husks, which are sourced overseas, or peat moss, which involves an environmentally destructive process to extract. After completing this project, we now feel empowered with the ability to manage our own waste. It doesn't smell and turns what would normally be considered waste into a resource. It's also just another aspect of life that we can take into our own hands, which just feels right.